So I want to take a look at the NFC playoff picture after the Packers' unfortunate loss to the New York Giants last night. Heading into yesterday's game, the Packers were sitting as the seventh seed in the NFC at 6-6. Six and six. They had a chance to go to 7-6, and six, be ahead of a few other teams, and now there's a like four or five-way tie when it comes to NFC teams with a 6-7 and seven record. So here you can see it. We have the 49ers are the first seed, number one seed at 10-3. and three. The Cowboys are the second seed at 10-3 and three after beating the Eagles a few days back. The Lions at 9-4, and four, the third seed. The Buccaneers, 6-7. and seven. The NFC South, not a great you know, division. Uh, the Buccaneers at 6-7, and seven, fourth seed. Eagles, fifth seed at 10-3. And three. Vikings, other NFC North foe, sixth seed at 7-6. And, and now the Packers are still sitting as the seventh seed, even with the loss to the Giants last night. And basically, the Packers win tons of different tiebreakers. It says here, tiebreaker over Rams based on head-to-head -head win percentage. Tiebreaker over Atlanta based on best win percentage in conference games. And basically... All these other teams you see here that are 6-7, and seven, the Rams, the Seahawks, the Falcons, and the New Orleans Saints, the Packers somehow have the tiebreaker over all those teams. So if the playoffs were to start today, the Packers would still be in the playoffs even after a, I mean, just wildly bad performance last night against the New York Giants. And so I think for the Packers, there is still hope. I think that it really just comes down to what Packers team we see the rest of the season. Are we going to see the team that came in as an underdog against the Lions, against the Chiefs, and I think put the league on notice, played as you know one of the better teams in the NFL. Jordan Love was firing on all cylinders. Then this past game, we see them just really play down to the level of the New York Giants, who I don't think are a very good football team. And the Packers looked completely opposite of how they had looked the past two weeks. And so we'll see the past remaining four weeks if the Packers can you know win those games. I would assume still if we win out, considering we already have these tiebreakers, that the Packers would be in the playoffs. But... The way the Packers played yesterday, you know, I just don't know if these games are all going to be wins. Uh, you would have assumed that if the Packers played as they had, that, you know, they would have found a way to win all these games. And yet, here we have a young team that sort of went back to the way they had played early in the season. The final four games, we have the Buccaneers next Sunday. We have the Panthers a week after that. The Vikings December 31st. And then the Bears on January 7th. So nothing is guaranteed for this Packers team. There is, you know, a lot that could happen in the final four weeks here. You also have a few other teams under the Saints. You got the Giants, now only, what, one game behind the Packers, technically. You got the Bears also sitting at 5-8. and eight. So the Packers really need to come together this week and, you know, figure out exactly what went wrong against the Giants because it's just, I feel like it's just unacceptable to have a performance like that where, you know, you're coming off such a great win against the Chiefs, and then you just play down to the level of your opponent because I think we've all seen what the Packers can do, and I think there's lots of differing factors that led to the Packers' failure last night. The fact that lots of these injuries continue to plague the Packers, not having Christian Watson, I think, was a big deal. The defense on the final drive, sitting back, the corner sitting back like 10, 15 yards, just sort of allowing easy completions from DeVito to allow them to get into field goal range, so... So many problems last night that hopefully will get solved heading into um, you know the rest of the season, and we'll just have to wait and see if this is a Packers team that has a chance to make the playoffs, because I think we've seen what they can be, and when they play at the top of their game, this is a team that I think could be dangerous in the playoffs. When you beat the Chiefs, you beat the Lions, um, that sort of just shows that you have the ability, and so this team knows that they can play at that level. The question is, you know... Are they going to be the team they were against the Giants, the team that we saw maybe a month and a half ago where um, it's just sort of lifeless and it feels like just no energy on the team, no energy on offense or much on defense as well? Or will we see the team that came and fired up to try to knock off two top teams in the NFL and the Lions and the Chiefs? I would assume this is a wake-up call for the Packers. The fact that you lose a game that I think you easily should have won if you had played as you had recently. Um, it's definitely a wake-up call for this team to get things together if they really want to try to make the playoffs um, to uh, finish off this season. So that is the NFC playoff picture. If you want more Packers content, subscribe down below, drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time.